Hi, good morning. Last night was crazy. I've never cried so many times just watching Smash Bros on Twitch. But anyway, um, I just wanted to share my two goals for this month because I make at least like two goals every month lately. And this is the first time I'm just going to share them. Um, the first one is honesty. And this is something I've already been trying to do the last several months is just like, not only just not lie, but just like be completely honest about everything. I don't want to just like tell someone I like their food to not hurt like and not like blunt like disrespectful honesty but just like genuine like I don't know lying doesn't get anyone anywhere and the second thing is I want to push myself further in everything I do and exercise or diet or whatever because lately I'm like okay I've, I've built the routines and the habits and everything but um I know I'm capable of more than that so I'm gonna really try to like push myself way harder this month but not go overboard and see truly like the limits of what i'm capable of i don't know that's my goals this month this month love <laughs> hi yeah red alert so i just got home and then i see that conan gray announced his tour for his third album that's coming out and i'm like oh my god so i looked at the date for az and it is 10 20 24 october that's october right yeah october 20th that's my half birthday i'll be 25 and a half on that day i know that doesn't matter but um and like not only can i not afford the tickets and like that's okay like if they're still on sale when like i have money then i'll buy them but like i'm honestly a little shook for the album i'm not gonna lie like i like i've liked a couple of the singles or his recent songs but like i haven't really been blown away yet like i have the first two of his albums but like regardless i still want to go even if like the album is a flop like i would love to go but um I guess, like, if I miss it, it won't be the worst thing, but, like, I'm really trying to see Conan because, like, I was not there for Kid Crow or Super 8, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Hi, real quick, um, I just wanted to say, I really don't know what, like, 99% of the people looking on, on all my shit lately think of what I'm doing, and lately, doing it, I feel very amateurish, but what's interesting is that with all of these, like, little one-minute videos and everything for this project, I go into it trying to learn at least one thing, like, one new thing for video editing and recording things and everything, and I always come out of it learning, like, a lot. Um, and maybe you've seen that, too, like, the obvious, like, progress from the start to here. Um, but it all feels ridiculous, because I know I'm just, like, some dude, you know? Like, it doesn't- I don't feel like I'm doing anything crazy yet. Um, but like i really do truly believe that this really is only the beginning and i'm like still very early in the process of like everything i want to do and most of you probably don't even know what the fuck i want to do um so this is really still just the beginning and if you actually enjoy what i'm doing then thank you for some reason or i love you <laughs> i don't know bye <laughs> bye hi take two it's wednesday march 6th 2024 um i'm i'm just there's gonna be two videos um I, the first one is that I was on the exercise bike earlier today and I, today my goal was 22 minutes and I have a bunch of things, but then I, 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 I wanted, I increased the resistance and I thought I was going to quit at like seven or eight minutes in. Cause that's when I was like, oh my fucking God, I'm dying. But like, you know, I, I kept remembering, I was like, okay, this month I'm going to push myself like blah, 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 blah. Um, and I was like, and then I just like, I fucking somehow made it to 22 minutes. Like, and like, I burned a lot more calories than normal. And like, I get it now. Like the exercise people that are like, oh my God, like working out, like is, is like the best thing ever. Because like before I had like great, like mental stimulation from like video games and other things, etc. But like the feeling that I got just today from like pushing myself really hard on that extra resistance and like going the full 22 minutes like I had planned was like insane physical stimulation that like I had never really gotten something like that before. And it was like amazing. So like, you know, I get exercise people now like i get it like it's gonna be me you know and um secondly is after i you know after the exercise like i showered and then i went on my walk and it's raining right but like the exercise bike got me thinking about like i, I put on my eminem playlist and like normally i feel like i have to put in music that i know the words to really really well um, because I feel like I, like I sing so much when I'm like walking and it was raining and I was, I was like, I was in my m, &M mood, but then I'm like, I should like feel like I need, I'm performing less. Cause all of this feels like it's like practice because like, there's just cars driving by me. Like nobody gives a fuck that I'm out here singing. Right. And I'm not being like ridiculous or annoying. Like if there are people near me, like sometimes I stop like, you know, or like I'm, I'm quieter or whatever, but like I'd be singing and I'd be like going crazy, like just walking down the streets and shit. Um, but like, I was like, okay, like I, cause like, I felt ridiculous doing that and then not knowing the words to the some songs, even though nobody's fucking listening to me, they're just in cars. But like, now I'm like, okay, like, let me like, let me just listen to what I want to. And it's even better. And like, I have a lot more to say about like this feeling of like performing when I'm like just walking, but like, I'll talk more about that later.
Hi, yeah, so, I'm like, it's like 1, maybe 2 p.m., don't know, um, and I just realized, right, I'm like, what am I fucking doing right now? I'm literally just lying in bed on my phone and on my laptop, and like, listen, a lot of the times something like this will happen, I'm very good at identifying, like, when it's happening and when it's becoming close to a problem or when it's a problem or whatever, um, and as I've said before, like, this phone shit addiction is so fucking hard to overcome and i'm really trying to like push myself and shit so why am i laying down at 1 p.m like you know i don't need to i guess my question is how do y'all if anyone has any advice or like not only just like how to push myself and stuff but how to like tear myself away from this and just like actually push myself to be more fucking goaded because like what the fuck am I doing? You know, I don't know. It feels weird. <laughs> Hi, March 6th. Um, Here's another thing that I was just thinking about. I realized that, like, when between everything that's happened to me and my current circumstances and everything, the reason, or one of the reasons that I'm doing all of this, especially, like, on Snapchat and Instagram and shit, like, way more, is that I have so much that I want to say... And now I don't talk to that many people. Like, I still have a lot of people I could talk to. But mostly, like, I'm just, like, I want to talk to, like, my four closest friends, you know? And they're all very, very busy or very hard to get in contact with, with, like, all the time for completely different reasons. Um, And I love them all so much. But I was, like, I feel like maybe I didn't even realize it. I just, like, I felt like I I needed to start sharing things with more people because... I didn't really have anyone that I wanted to share any of this with, um, as of recently. And that might be one of the reasons that goes into all of this, you know? Hi, yeah, so I was, before dinner, I go back, a couple days ago, I'm like, okay, like, let me write down that I need to research the psychology behind humor and comedy, blah, blah, blah. So I did that, like, an hour ago, I watched this video, and he pretty much articulated everything that I was thinking about just a couple days ago, but, like, obviously way better than I was thinking about, you know? Um, about how, like, the whole, what was it called? The Willy Wonka experience, that shit. And I was thinking about, I was like, dude, like, it's so unserious and so funny because, like, it's ridiculous and, like, but it doesn't cross the line to be, like, a crime or, like, even though it kind of, you know, it it doesn't cross the line to where, like, it's, like, some heinous thing. But, like, it's so funny like it's the perfect medium of that so i i I wanted to do more research and look into like you know why things are funny blah 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 and then i was like oh i saw this video it was a ted talk um just like an hour ago and he's talking about he called it benign violations a by benign obviously means like harmless right and violation in this context means um something that is not a, like a, does not align with what how the world is supposed to work it could be anything so a violation in this context would be something that just is kind of unexpected or that doesn't like it could be serious and heinous blah, blah blah but there's very minor violations of just like oh it's not supposed to work that way and there's a very and he goes into like great detail about like how most comedy you know revolves around like benign violations and he goes into like a lot of detail around the theory etc but i was like wait that's kind of exactly what I was, say, like, thinking about in, like, this whole Twitter shit about, um, the Willy Wonka experience, but just, like, this dude's, like, an actual, you know, smart dude, like, he knows what he's fucking talking about, and I just think that's crazy, because now I'm gonna do even more research on psychology on humor, because I think it's all very, very interesting, so, yeah. Hi, so I was supposed to go home last Saturday, and because of some bullshit, I decided to stay until Tuesday, so we switched the fight to Tuesday, and then we switched the fight to today, so then I get here, and then there's, like, some emergency or something at the airport and i'm just waiting around for two hours and there's people like rumoring about that there's some threat called in and that all the flights were delayed for a couple hours but i saw online that there was an emergency landing or something in in this airport and that's why like this whole fiasco was going on and then like now then because of that i guess my flight was still on time even though i was two and a half hours early and i couldn't make it and so now I'm supposed to fly home later at 3.15 p.m. And it was really, like, hectic. And then I had, like, my family, like, yelling at me for, like, stupid reasons. And I'm just, like, this is so, like, ridiculous. But, like, so Cal just does not want me to leave. Like, it's so funny that I just, like, keep trying to go home. And then it just doesn't work anyway.
anyone else feels this where they feel like they live a thousand lives in like one day but that happened to me today and it, ha it happens to me like a lot lately but um yeah no um wow like the literal most insane day of my fucking life i felt like stories in the future maybe not even soon in the sand okay listen um first of all Fuck, um, I was- I was walking to the store, and now I think I've walked, like, five miles on accident, like, I don't- like, I'm almost home, but, like, I've been walking, like, five miles, right? On the way to the store, there was this, like, girl in the car- I was stopped at an intersection, and there was a girl in a car there, and she was, like- and I was singing Levitating by Dua Lipa, right? And then, like, as the car was turning, she rolled down the window, and she was, like, had this biggest smile on her face, and she waved at me, and I smiled and waved back. And then, like, and, like, yeah, she was, like, this 10-year-old girl, but she, she seemed to be happy that I was doing that. Also, I'm just, like, walking everywhere. Like, I'm literally just, like, walking, dude. Like, and, like, I just want to walk more, because, like, before, I would only walk, like, 40 minutes there and back just to, like, go where I needed to. But, like, now I'm walking for, like, hours and hours and hours, and I might as well film something, like, when I'm out here. But, like, it's great that, like... I could just walk and end up places and it's wonderful. Also, excuse my ridiculousness last night. Um, that was a lot, but <laughs> thank you if you still love me. <laughs> I'm gonna try to um, keep this in the, within two minutes and this is only for Snapchat. Um, I'm so good lately. And like, again, ups and downs, right? But like, it's like, it's literally like, I just made my Discord says like true euphoria. You know, like I feel like before I felt good, but now I feel good and there isn't like, you know, it's not always perfect, but like it, I get, you know, anyway, I don't know. I'm still very self-conscious about a lot of things, despite how confident and how good I feel consistently. I still very much care what a lot of people think and especially my friends. And unfortunately, I'm very lonely a lot. Like, and it doesn't like depress me or really make me sad, but that's why I post on socials a lot because I'm just fucking lonely, dude. And I want to share my, how I, how good I feel with other people. And I wish I didn't have to because I hate fucking social media, dude. I hate all of it. Um, but by extension of all of this, like, I don't know who I can message and I could call usually. Sometimes I'll like call or message someone and I'll feel very fucking annoying, dude. And I'll be like, oh, like, yeah, I get that they ha have their lives and they definitely don't have to be tuned into my life. But, like, I kind of wish I had someone or more people to, like, share my happiness and my growth and my energy with. Because, again, like, not on some, like, I'm not going to talk to anyone ever again, but, like, I'm moving, dude. Like, I won't be here for long, you know? And I want to be there for people and if they're not, they don't want to be here for me too, that's okay. Like, you don't have to be. But um, I will be so long gone sooner than most of you think. Maybe not, but uh, soon, you know, I'll be so long gone. And that's okay. Like, I, like it's not that nobody can just reach out to me. Like, I'll still love all of you. But um, if you have time and you want to talk to me, I never get annoyed from anyone messaging or calling me. So please hit me up if you want to. But if you don't, like, that's okay too. Like, I'll be doing great things. Last one for today, I promise. So I was so inspired by watching Heartstopper recently that the main YouTube channel I have, I haven't really known what the fuck I was going to use it for because the thing I was going to use it for, like, I'm not even going to fucking do anymore. Um, but then I'm watching Heartstopper and, like, I'm, I really am just so touched by this show. And I was like, I want to talk about it and like so i uploaded my first actual video on my main youtube channel and um it's very like low budget just like again me talking into a camera with some royalty free music and like it's it, this is part zero like i haven't even started talking about the show yet but this series of me talking about just like heart stopper and sexuality and my experiences with being gay and stuff um I, that's gonna go there on my main YouTube channel, and I'll, you know, link it here, or just fucking find it, you know, um, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna do this every time I upload one, but if you want to watch it, just, just go, it, it'll be there, <laughs> thank you. Okay, hi, um, I'll be live on Twitch at 10 p.m., um, insane as fuck feeling to feel like this lonely and unloved, but, like, so at peace with that feeling. It, it's weird, like, Anyway, I'm going live on Twitch at 10 p.m. Uh, Twitch TV Henley Gray. I'm just gonna play some Elite, tell two stories, and then uh, I'm gonna watch two YouTube videos. Ariana Grande released a behind the scenes video, and Dua Lipa released a uh, video with Trixie Mattel. Uh, so I'm just gonna play Smash, talk about some shit. Uh, 10 p.m. Um. <laughs> Dude, oh, y'all have no clue. No, I.
I feel. No, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. Tune in if you want. I just wanted to say I was made aware of the World Happiness Report of 2024, and apparently for people under 30 in the United States this year, we are in 62nd place for happiness. And like, this is really interesting to me because I've constantly been thinking about how unsure I am about how happy or anything other people are or what's going on in other people's minds at all. I'm very constantly like really unaware of what's going on, even though I like really want to be and like try to be like in the minds of other people as much as I can be. And I just want people to know that like, like, yeah, things are fucking crazy and shitty, but like there can be light. And it's not that there always will be light, but like, but like there's a lot of things and like this is super abridged but like you can't you do have more control over your life than you might think sometimes again maybe you already know that but um uh take it from someone like me who hasn't been through the worst things in the world but i've been to rock bottom my rock bottom several times and like yeah the world is crazy but like we'll get through it and i believe that i really do hi if you, um i'm prepping for my next heart stopper youtube video upload thing and uh, if you're seeing this, it means I actually like what I uploaded a lot and want to share it. Um, I don't think I'm, again, I don't think I'm going to do this every time. But like, if I actually upload something and I like that I made it, I'm probably going to share it. So there is a chance that maybe I just fucking post on here every fucking... 10% uh, battery. There is a chance that I po like I just post every time I upload on that channel. Um, hopefully not, but we'll see. And also just like, I don't know why I, I like, I know I don't have to give this disclaimer to people. Like I know that I shouldn't, and I don't have to say this, but people kept asking me the last couple months and I kept telling people like, no, I don't want to be like a social media dude or like an influencer. Like that is not the end goal. And I hate that. I feel like I have to keep saying that to people, but like, it's kind of just what I'm doing right now. So yeah. Oh, is on the floor. This hasn't happened to me in so long. I'm about to get in the shower, right? And I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I have a little fucking sunburn, dude. Okay. Like I know this is not that big of a deal, but for many years now, I don't be going outside like that. But now that I'm like walking so much and I like go to the park every single day, I'm like, oh, and I'm like, it's getting a little hot. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I be, I, I'm starting to sweat more as of like the last week or two, you know? Uh, but, and then like, I've been thinking the past couple of days, I'm like, dude, you gotta start putting on sunscreen and shit. And look at, look at this shit. I, a little, little fucking sunburn. I got home like two hours ago and it's kind of red. Like, uh, it could be worse. Thank God it's not. But now I'm like, okay, like, like, I don't know, warning to people, like, start putting on fucking sunscreen if you be walking like me or going to the park. I'm just like, my jaw, again, like, I, like, this was, that was me for like fucking 15, 20, 30 seconds because I, I have not been sunburned <laughs> since I was playing like soccer, dude, in like middle school. It's crazy. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm not trying to like plug my Twitter or anything, but like I have so much shit to say all the time. And like as I, now that I'm like on Twitter again, um, I'm willing to, and, like I'm, I'm doing a lot of voice tweets. Um, I'm doing every day. I'm like doing one song. I'm singing one song that I like and that is important to me to that day. And I'm also starting to just tell stories all the time as voice tweets. Because I'd rather do that on there than like make a whole video and post it on my Insta story. Now that I realize that this is a better thing and I have, you know, over two minutes instead of one minute, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> so, again, if you would like to hear me ramble, you know, sometimes about bullshit. Or hear my, you know, progress on me trying to be a better singer sometimes. Um, at Henley Horse Gray. Um, you know, if you want to, I'll be there. You don't have to, nobody has to. Please don't feel, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, important, I just started my walk and I wanted to share this. Recently I've been thinking about like making like a video or a series about like my own growth and self-improvement and maybe for like anyone that wanted to hear what I have to say about all that. And then I remember that like nobody really listens right now in ways that like, not, not to be like rude, but like I haven't really proven shit yet, you know, even though like I've made so many drastic improvements over the last like three to four months, like so many insane shit, but I have so much longer to go. And so I have a series that I've uploaded three videos called A Thousand Lives, but I record them and then they don't go live till a year later, 365 days later. And I've recorded three of those already because those stories are so insane that I don't like, they gotta be told a year later, even though I've already uploaded them. And I'm gonna do that for this. I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna record videos about my journey of self-improvement and then they'll schedule, they'll go live a year after they get uploaded. Hopefully I'll have proven it by then, but we'll see. Uh, 
I want to do that. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, yeah, so first thing today, I like almost got hit by a car again because I'm like singing and I'm walking and this car is in a rush or whatever. And then he like rolls down his window and it's like, dude, stop being fucking weird. And then he just drives away and I just smiled at him and then I started at the next car because I'm like, dude, you almost hit me with your car because you're in a rush. And then like, whatever, anyway. Um, and, and then like, I'm playing Ice Spice on my speaker sitting at a bench by a Target and this like, probably like, like, I don't know, like, 11-year-old boy, like, comes up to me, or, like, he's with his friends, and they walk by. I'm playing Boys Liar 2. He's like, dude, I love Ice Spice, and he's, like, walking by, and he's, like, singing the words. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude, and then he comes back later. He's like, I love Ice Spice, and then the girl with him, uh, there was a friend group, and she asked me about Olivia Rodrigo, because that was when playing when they came back, and then later, this dude comes to me. He's like, you'll play this MF Doom song, and then someone says something about Lil Nas X, and then I was like, okay and then we ended i ended up playing beyonce's new album because they some of they were they were asking me about beyonce and then i was like okay we're gonna run the, the beyonce album because it's beyonce day you know and after the horrible interaction at the beginning i was like okay like you know like even though like people like anyway <laughs> hi um this is a message for anybody that actually loves about loves me and cares about me and believes in me i told my dad all of this and i think it's it's very true to my parents but it's also true to all the the people that i love in my life um this is a quote from lucy gray she says, I don't want to get it wrong. She says, you really want to take care of me in that arena? Start by thinking I can actually win. And this is kind of how I feel now about not just my parents, but all of my friends. I, I, I know a lot of people are being nice and a lot of people, some people believe in me, they really do. But other people, they don't believe in me. I can see it in their eyes, even though it's not what they say. Um... If you want me in your life, I want to be in so many- I love people too much, I love so many people, but if you really do believe in me, start by looking at me like I'm actually going to win and succeed. Please, thank you.